end times and the rapture. It's a simplified version. There's many supporting scriptures that I've left out for the sake of being brief. This is not a complete study of the end times, just something to maybe prod you into investigating the scriptures for yourself. There's a warning from Jesus in Matthew 24, verse 24. It says, For false Christs and false prophets will arise and will show great signs and wonders, so as to mislead, if possible, even the elect. Behold, I have told you in advance. Be like the Bereans in Acts 17.11. Check the scriptures. Verify they're true. How are the tribulation and the rapture related? In 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, Paul describes what will happen before our gathering together with him. Details of our gathering together with him, what we call the rapture, are in 1 Thessalonians 4.13. Well, Paul says in chapter 2, he says, we re Now we request you, brethren, with regard to the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, that you not quickly be shaken from your composure or be disturbed either by a spirit or a message or a letter as if from us, to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one in any way deceive you, for it will not come unless the apostasy comes first and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of destruction who opposes and exalts himself above every so-called God or object of worship so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, displaying himself as being God. So before the rapture, our gathering together with him, there's going to be an apostasy, a great falling away from the faith, and the man of lawlessness is revealed. This is the one that we call the Antichrist, or in Revelation, he's the beast of the sea. This happens during following the fifth seal of the tribulation in Revelation. So when's the tribulation start? In Revelation 5, we see the, the Lamb, Jesus, takes the book from God as he sits on his throne and he opens the first seal. That will begin the tribulation. You find that in Revelations chapter 5 and 6. Once the first seal is opened, the tribulation begins and everyone's fate is sealed. There will be three groups of people alive when this happens. We'll explain those in the following slides. Israel, who currently has a partial hardening during the time of the Gentiles. Those whose name is recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life, current body of Christ. And those whose name is not recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life, which is everyone else. There will be two groups of people who are dead when the tribulation begins. So they're described in 1 Thessalonians 4.13. Those who have fallen asleep in Jesus and the rest who have no hope. How will we know when the tribulation starts? Well, in Revelation 6.7, when we look at the fourth seal when that's opened, it says, When the Lamb broke the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth living creature saying, Come. I looked, and behold, an ashen horse, and he who sat upon it had the name Death, and Hades was following with him. Authority was given to them over a fourth of the earth to kill with sword and famine and pestilence and wild beasts of the earth. Most of the world will be unaware that the tribulation has started. These are very common things, killing with a sword, the beheadings and, and war going on today, famine, we have starvation, different parts of the world, pestilence, the diseases that are, that are coming and killing people, and wild animals attacking. These things are happening today. Nothing spectacular will happen until the sixth seal occurs. It'd be foolish to think that you can wait until the tribulation to make a decision. Looking around today, we could already be in the tribulation. So the first 42 months of the tribulation is the only thing is that um, Christians should care about. Everything that happens after that will pretty much uh, uh, be dead by then. So before the tribulation starts, we have the dead in Christ, and we have the dead without Christ. Israel, who has a partial hardening on him now, 
will be protected for 1260 days, which is 42 months, counting 360 days in the Jewish calendar, and be protected from the Satan and from the Antichrist. So they're going to live during this tribulation time. We're also going to have all of the people whose names are currently in the Lamb's Book of Life. Tribulation saints who will all be killed for not worshiping the Antichrist. They will all die during the first 42 months. Everyone else, everyone else will worship the Antichrist and take the mark of the beast. Let's take a look at them a little bit more carefully. Israel is being protected. So in Revelation 12.4, we see the dragon stood before the woman. In this case, the dragon is Satan, and the woman represents Israel, who was about to give birth, so that when she gave birth, he might devour her child, which would be Jesus. And she gave birth to a son, a male child, who is to rule the nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up to God into his throne. Then the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had a place prepared by God so that there she would be nourished for 1,260 days, which is 42 months. We also see that in Daniel 9.27. And he, this would be the Antichrist, the one who comes out of the people who destroyed the temple in the year 70, somewhere out of the Roman Empire, he will make a firm covenant with the many for one week. But in the middle of the week, he'll put a stop to sacrifice and grain offering. The covenant, which is going to protect Israel, will allow Israel to begin sacrifice and grain offering. Today they can't do it because they don't have a temple. The many will be the sons of Israel and the sons of Ishmael, both of the descendants of Abraham who claim the same land that was promised to the descendants of Abraham, and they battle over the ownership of the temple area. The middle of the week... In the week in seven years, it's a group of sevens, will be three and a half years, and three and a half, which is 42 months. Tribulation saints that will be killed for not worshiping the Antichrist. Revelation 13, 3, And the whole earth was amazed and followed after the beast. This is the beast of the sea. They worship the dragon because he gave authority to the beast, and they worship the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? This would be the Antichrist, and who is able to wage war with him? There was given to him a mouth speaking arrogant words and blasphemies, and authority to act for 42 months. So this is the time that the, the uh, Antichrist will be active during this first 42 months of the tribulation. Verse 6, And he opened his mouth and blasphemies against God, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle, that is, those who dwell in heaven. It was also given to him to make war with the saints and overcome them. So these are the saints, and he will overcome them, and he makes war with them. The authority over every tribe, people, and tongue, and nation was given to him. All who dwell on earth will worship him. Everyone whose name has not been written from the foundation of the world and the book of life of the Lamb who has been slain. If anyone has an ear, let him hear. Remember, that's what Jesus would say when he would tell parables. So everyone whose name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life is going to worship him, and everyone whose name is in the Book of Life will not. And it was given to him to give breath to the image of the beast. Now we're talking about the false prophet, again in Revelation 13. So that the image of the beast would even speak and cause as many as do not worship the image of the beast to be killed. So we know the tribulation saints will not worship the beast and they will be killed. And he causes all the small and the great and the rich and the poor and the free and the slaves to be given a mark on their right hand or on their forehead. And he pro provides that no one will be able to buy or sell except the one who has the mark either the name of the beast or the number of the name. Everyone will take the mark of the beast except for the tribulation saints. That's why they're going to be killed. Some more interesting facts about tribulation saints. When the Lamb broke the fifth seal, up here, I saw underneath the altar the souls of those who had been slain because of the word of God. 
And because of the testimony which they had maintained, and they cried out in a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, will you refrain from judging and avenging our blood on those who dwell on earth? And there was given to each of them a white robe, and they were told that they should rest for a little while longer until the number of their fellow servants and their brethren who were to be killed, even as they had been, would be completed. So the fifth seal is just waiting for the rest of the tribulation saints to be killed. Revelation 20. And I saw the souls who had been beheaded because of their testimony of Jesus, because of the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark on their forehead or their hand. Those are the tribulation saints. And they came to life, and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until, until the thousand years were completed. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who is part of the first resurrection. Over these, the second death has no power. But they will be priests of God and Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. So that is an honor to be a tribulation saint. You will be first resurrected and be able to be with Jesus during that thousand-year reign. Everyone else that enters the tribulation. Then another angel, a third one, followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worships the beast and his image and receives a mark on his forehead and his hand, he also will drink the wine of the wrath of God, which is mixed in full strength in the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment goes up forever and ever, and they have no rest day and night. Those who worship the beast and his image and whoever receives the mark of his name, that is everyone who does not have their name in the Lamb's book of life, when the tribulation begins, will be doomed. So the rapture will be sometime after the sixth seal. All the tribulation saints will be dead. So we'll either be dead before the tribulation starts, or we're going to die during the tribulation if our name's in the Lamb's Book of Life. Revelation 6, I looked and he broke the sixth seal, and there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth made of hair, and the whole moon became like blood, and the stars of the sky fell to the earth, and the fig tree cast out its unripe figs when shaken by the great wind. Now this will be the first time that the earth actually sees that something is happening from heaven. In Matthew 24, Jesus gives the same description. It says, but immediately after the tribulation, that first 42 months, of those days the sun will be darkened and the moon will not give its light and the stars will fall from the sky and the powers of heaven will be shaken. And then the Son of Man will appear in the sky. Then all the tribes of the earth will mourn and they will see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of the sky with power and great glory. And he will send forth his angels with a great trumpet, and they will gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of the sky to the other. But of that day and hour no one knows. We just know it's going to be after the sixth seal. Not even the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but the Father alone. For the coming of the Son of Man will be just like in the days of Noah. For as in those days before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day of Noah entered the ark. And they did not understand until the flood came and took them all away. So will the coming of the Son, man, son of Man be. Then there will be two men in the field, one will be taken and one will be left. Two women will be grinding at the mill, and one will be taken and one will be left. So Jesus is describing the rapture that's in 1 Thessalonians 4.13. Only Israel will be living a normal life under the protection of the covenant for the first 42 months. Sometime after the sixth seal, Israel will be grafted back into the olive tree. They were bro broken off for their unbelief at Pentecost when they rejected Jesus as being their king. They will either become tribulation saints or they will be taken up in the rapture. 
So what do we know? We do not know when the tribulation will start, but we do know the rapture happens after the sixth seal. Don't be fooled into thinking that you'll be whisked away before the tribulation begins. Don't be fooled by a false Christ. Matthew 24, 4, And Jesus answered and said to them, See to it that no one misleads you, for many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and will mislead many. When the tribulation begins, if you have your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will become a tribulation saint and die by beheading. Jesus died for us, and we get the opportunity to die for him. Tribulation saints will be the first resurrected and will live with Jesus for a thousand years in judgment, before judgment. If your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life, you will be deceived and worship a false Jesus and take the mark of the beast and be doomed forever. If you are a son of Israel, you'll have an opportunity to make God your king and be grafted back onto the olive tree. Is my name in the Lamb's Book of Life? That's the only thing that really matters. Revelation 20.15 says, If anyone's name was not found written in the Book of Life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Those whose names are in the Book of Life are those found innocent or righteous by God. How can I become righteous? How can I... Be saved from the wrath of God on Judgment Day. In Ephesians 2.8, Paul says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not as the result of works, so that no one may boast. Being a good person, doing good works, deeds will not save you. Romans 10.6, But the righteousness based on faith speaks as follows. Do not say in your heart, who will ascend into heaven, that is to bring Christ down, who will ascend into the abyss, that is to bring Christ up from the dead. It means you don't have to travel someplace to find this. It's here. The good news is here. But what does it say? The word is near you. It's in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith which we are preaching. That if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you'll be saved. For what the heart a person believes resulting in righteousness, or innocent at judgment day. And with the mouth he confesses resulting in salvation, saved from the wrath of God. Only God can reckon you as being righteous.